Hello, Nini, everyone. This is the Priestess of Moot. I welcome back to my channel. So this is a different uh, change of scenery from my previous videos. You're actually in my kitchen. It's not a very big kitchen. It's not a very um, fancy kitchen, but it's kitchen. And it's, you know, I had to do some, a little bit of cleaning up. Um, but um, yeah, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to make Natron. So Natron was a very um, important part of ancient Egyptian religion and of ancient Egyptian life. So the, um, the, the recipe that I'm going with is the one the Temple of Witchcraft um, has. It was on their channel. Um, I really do like this one a lot better than the one that um, Sharon did. Uh, no offense to you, Sharon. Um, but um, I do like it because um, it's very simple to make. Now, the kicker is um, I was going to offer Natron on my shop. However, because it looks like white powder and because of the whole thing with anthrax and stuff like that um, I'm not going to be selling it in my shop so yesterday I had to go to Walmart to pick up parchment paper um, I picked up iodine sea salt um, but I did get my baking soda in advance um, a couple of months ago I did cough up money for mortar and pestle um, so that I could blend stuff. And I've got my um, measuring cup here. So let me go ahead and grab one more item before I start this. So I'm going to my container full of water. Okay, so according to the Temple of Witchcraft, um, you're supposed to slow, you're supposed to make equal parts. So of iodine salt, of sea salt, and of baking soda. Um, the original one I had seen was um, just table salt and um, baking soda. But I like him using sea salt because it comes from the ocean. Um, I know regular salt comes from the ocean as well, but somehow iodine salt is just seems a little lot better. And I'm hoping to do this pretty quickly because my next door neighbor is going to be coming by knocking on my door. And I really do not want her knock to be in the video. But my, uh, my, um, my kitchen looks like that, um, the multicolored festival showed up. I have been making candles from this um, from this room for months. All right, so I'm gonna first of all start off with one part of the baking soda, and I'm just gonna see how much of this that I have. So I want to make enough. Um, enough of this. It's a uh, half, half a cup. So we'll add a little bit more. So I'll make half a cup. Right. Just want to make this level. A little bit more. So I'm going to slowly add this to the mixture, and I'm going to start pounding this down. If I see any kind of chunks, I'm going to pound it down. So 
Now, this is not a big mortar and pestle, so I might end up going a little bit over the top. Then I give that. I gotta warn you, this makes dust. Almost there. A little bit more. Should do it. I'm trying to make sure this is this is level. I do not seem to understand salt. So, <clears throat> my mortar and pestle is A little bit too small for this. Of course, I wasn't counting on making natron. So. I'm going to take some of this. Instead of haphazardly in the end up on my floor. I am going to take some of it and put it in a new container. Like I said, um, my mortar and pestle is not big. Though if I though now that I know that it's not going to fit um, the amount I'm making, um, I'm gonna get a new mortar and pestle. Okay, so that's what it looks like before I add the water. So to ensure that I don't end up with a bad batch. I'm going to stir this. Just a little bit of water. I'm also going to add a little bit of water to this. And use a different spoon. It's basically just start right here. 
until apparently until it starts getting um like something forgot what he said on the video This is actually a lot better than the Born and Pestle. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to uh, end it here. And I gotta go and get the parchment paper. And I will actually spend some time uh, just um, adding this to this and adding it to the parchment. And we'll see what happens. I'll see you in a bit.